at my arcade stick as much. And then what I'd like to do is if you're up to it, um, because Robo Fortune got patched in. Yeah. She has a story mode, so Ooh. you want to voice act with me and go through story <laughs> mode? I don't. I mean, I can voice act, but I'm. I'm gonna... Have you watched my videos <laughs> on that? I can probably. Like, my favorite, my best hey. voices are my voice for Valentine and <laughs> my voice for Big Band. Yeah, that's it. I like them. And even that for me was like. Slightly painful. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> well, you also see how poorly I, I read sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and I knew that's how it was. But oh, the colors. So Iron Man, Iron Man. Uh, Robo Kai from Guilty Gear, mm. Samus from Metroid. Yep. Don't know. Purple one, that. No. My Little Pony color. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. Uh, I believe that's Zontan, My Little Pony Color. Um, I feel like I should know, but I don't. Yeah. And that's back to color one. But then there's other ones, like, where's the rest here? Um, that's a character from Persona. Oh, that's yeah. That, that... Aegis, I believe. Yeah. I feel like I should know that yeah, one. Yeah, that one's pretty distinct too. Um, and then like there's ones from story mode because I believe that's um, uh, Cerebella's friend in the circus. Oh yeah, but. it actually reminds me of um, Kill You know, like there are characters that have Kill and Kill colors on them. Yeah, right. There but are. I play Iron Man for Iron Man. Yeah. And then gotta pick the bass. These the bass is the best. And it's the it's the other two best friends thing that made it into this game. Ah. Because like that's that It's the bass. Nice. Alright. Um Okay, as soon as I start this match we'll do proper introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Acting Real, and, th and welcome to the 3,000 total views thank you video. I'm joined by my guest commentator, Miss Prongs084. Woo! We're gonna use our regular names, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Alright. I mean, you can call me Prongs if you want, yeah. Yeah. but... And an extra special shout out to Mr. Robbie McGregor. It's his birthday today. He's probably oh, yeah, it is. he's probably at the Leafs game, and I hope it's they true. are playing well because holy shit, they I really want them to win this year because well, there are Canadian team. Yeah. They're the only Canadian team. Oh, they are. Oh my. And goodness. they haven't won in 25 oh, years. Yeah, my dad will be happy. Yeah. No, <laughs> and like I've seen the way they've been playing because my roommate um likes the um the. The Leafs and the Jays a lot, so I really want them. because they've been working hard. So yeah, already look at how powerful she is. No, got red. Uh, Time to laser. You know what? I'm gonna use. Yeah, he'll be a little better. He's a little faster. So. Well, also it's the counters. Yeah. Rush down power like of. Big Band versus the Grappler of Beowulf. Oh, punch is so OP. Yeah, bro. Oh, that one's that's a cool move. The jump attack. Yeah. Oh, damn. Ow. Oh. oh. I may want to tone it back down because I don't know if I can play. I haven't been Those practicing enough yeah. to. I guess grab one. Nice. Oh, she is fucking insane. Because if you can just do her heavy beam attack, that is a cool failure color. Oh, you figured out what the heads do. Yeah, they're trap setups. And 
and then if you just use beam, yep. most of the time you can keep them at a distance. If it's preferable. It's like, she is the ultimate um, keep away character, like even yeah. more so than Peacock now. Yeah, that's cool. No, she's, she, she's too powerful. Yeah. Like, she will, if they play this at Evo, she will be banned. Yeah. Because she take, she does too much damage. Yeah. But she's a cool character. She is amazing. She, like, um, when I actually get my tag team of Beowulf and her going... Alright, let's go down the list of stuff that has come out and talk about the what's good and what's not. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I'm gonna... Okay. It's a short list of what I, I guess we're gonna start with Taking King, then. I'm just gonna... Um, like, not a lot to say about Taking King because I don't know too much. It fixes the game mostly. Like, it's a full game! Yeah, oh it's my a full god! Game. Like, Whoa, it's if you are to amazing. get something now, get the full Taking King package because it's worth it. It's what the game should have been at release. As a person who doesn't have this game, it's not really played it very much, but I can still have commentary. Yeah. Damn. Damn, son. No. Computer Beowulf is. Like, Holy this is what a real Beowulf player looks like. Oh my god. <laughs> because I don't know the timings and the setups. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, I'm out. <laughs> Give up! I concede, I concede. No, like, it's the one counter I need to learn. And I can do it with Robo Fortune, but I have to keep him at full screen. If he gets an inch on me, I'm done. Yeah. Because I can do it properly with Robo Fortune. Um, I just need to learn um, the matchup properly. Right. So, yeah, no, Taken King fixes the game because they made the armor system just by points. Blackberry, come back. Oh, you're at the top. Yeah, it's a uh, click and then a swipe up. Yeah, I got the swipe up. Soma! Oh my god, Soma's so good. So, give oh! me a brief description of what's going on with it. Because I don't know a lot. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I am amazing at that, my job. That was beautiful. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Um, Soma, oh my god, where do you even begin? Like, if I tell you too much, it kind of spoils the Ignoring obvious What is that color? Fuck. Oh, that's cool. It's like Halloween. Anyway. Um, Soma. So, made by... This is the... This is Frictional, who are the creators of Penumbra and Amnesia Dark Sense and Allison. Those are the main, like, horror genres. Technically, they had a part to play Machine for Pigs, but not really. That was mostly the Chinese room. Yeah. And that's why it's kind of effed up, and it's not as good as the Dark Souls. Um... Soma is just... good. And it's set in, in outer space, or...? No! Soma is underwater. Oh! Yeah! Hey. Oh, they get X Bioshock yeah. people on to work on this. <laughs> well, no, Frictional is X Bioshock. Oh, really? I believe it is part of no Red Barrel is X Bioshock. Oh, okay. But maybe I don't know. Anyway, that's sort of inspiration, but not really. Okay, it, but for um, location, but different, different. Very different styles. Yeah, it looks Bioshock. very different. Um. Definitely sci-fi. I mean, you wake up in this place. Like, I'm not gonna spoil. I'm basically gonna tell you, like, 
when the developer gave out keys to people early, they're like, don't show the first 20 minutes of gameplay, because that basically tells you the story and don't ruin it for people. Um, so I'm going to start off after like the first 20 minutes. You wake up in this underwater base, and you have no idea how you got there. I mean, if you know the first 20 minutes, you know exactly how you got there. Okay. But it's still confusing, and it is more or less about robots. <laughs> okay. So, frictional-wise, is this another one where you have to run or hide? Is it another one of those scenarios? Some parts. The very interesting thing about this game is that every section you go to is a different monster. Okay! So it's not I like that. Yeah, it's way more interesting than the amnesia format, which is like grunts and then like... Oh, Heavier guys things. with specialties. Yeah. This is like truly monsters that are unique and react in unique ways. Um, and it's just... Oh. It's, it's psychological horror. It's not as scary as the Dark Descent, mm. but it has its moments. That looks like... In the background. Um, and it, it, it's just amazing. Mm. So, can you fight the monsters, or do you have to run or hide? No, they are too powerful for you. Okay. It's still that sort of defenselessness. Mm -hmm. um, but... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just want to check. Oh, excuse me. Okay. We're so classy. <laughs> Turn myself back a bit. Because... Oh, you're hearing slap, 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 slap. Well, I'm just like, is that um, bashing out your commentary? Oh, yeah. Can... Yep. Can people actually hear you? Over yeah, time? I know. I'm really far away. I'm trying to talk loudly, well, anyway. as loudly as I can talk. <laughs> uh, but some not some not good. I would I would recommend watching the playthrough if you can't play it yourself. Hmm. It's well worth it. Um, such a rich and philosophical game story wise, and that's just awesome. It's up my alley. No. So I'm not not as scary, quote-unquote, but, like, it has its moments. It has lots of very good moments. Mm -hmm. Also, the underwater part is freaky in and of itself. Oh, it is. Like, you are, like, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's, it's, yeah. I don't want to spoil too much for you. Or for people who haven't, you know, don't know about the game or just want to play it. Since it's fairly new -ish. What else is on our list? Enter device password. Ooh. Oh, you won't just tell me? <laughs> you don't want me to get into your phone all the time? Oh, you can. It's uh, really easy. Yeah, yeah. It is. <laughs> it's basically a straight line. <laughs> Minecraft Telltale! We already kind of talked about this. Yeah. Like, the one positive thing I can say is that, like, Telltale's art style is perfect for this because, like, yeah. they're just using oh. the, like, the, the animated um, stuff. And I like that you can choose your character. Like, choose... Yes! That was cool. I yeah. thought that was neat. And it changes you, your voice, and I don't know if it changes your personality or not. Because I've only seen one so far. Yeah, I've only seen the one. I mean, it's kind of it's just dull. Yeah. Like, I'm... Like, like, now that we have games like Life is Strange and Until Dawn, Until Dawn. like, Telltale is just so ho-hum now. Yeah. yeah. Like, even and, like, the best is going to be when it gets the choices, you hear the zit 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 of the game trying to load, whereas stuff like Life is Strange and especially Until Dawn is so well optimized and designed yeah. that it... I haven't seen Until Dawn lag or glitch No, out. I've... Uh, like, Life is Strange has a couple difficulties. <laughs> there was one glitch that, that John had in this playthrough where, uh... 
You know the part of uh, the latest episode when they're confronting the all in space. Um, the bug dude. Oh, Frank. Frank, that's right. And and they, there was one part where Chloe had the gun and she was totally not invisible at all. She was invisible. <laughs> I I think I've heard of a glitch so which funny. is. Um, I've heard of a glitch which is, um, Frank is, like, dead on the ground in that, like, it's glitched out and his model's there, but he's still talking, <laughs> and, like, his dialogue is still appearing. That's funny. I think that's a glitch. I don't know. Yeah. I also just recently looked at the, um, comics that you sent to me on those are so good oh my god they're like, so good it's so good that that dude i can't remember what his oh, what demon he... art name is yeah. but fuck like if i if i insert it in post somehow dude you like puns to the max and like good art with good that. art and it was... slam um but yeah, like, it's just... Um, also, it's not for us. It's just, it really... Minecraft's right, but yeah. Like, I'd rather just play Minecraft. Yep. Yep. Like, I'd rather just or build awesome Or play someone else's built world with yes. a story to it. Yes, those worlds are awesome. Yeah. The the adventure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Adventure maps. Or watch somebody's, like, created story. Because there are ones that exist remember, yeah, that have machinima. people, yeah, that have machinima quality too. Like. Oh, it's it's the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can appear here before the final boss. I've had it happen to me a couple times. It's not as common. Yeah. So also that move is called cat. Catastrophe oh, ha, ha, ha. No, all all of her things are puns around either robots or or okay. cats. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay. Um, the beginner's guide, which we talked about a little bit. Um, the question is, is it a video game or is it a biography? I know. Like it's the question of whether And the question is, do you like I almost say that, like, playing this game is definitely worth it if you're intrigued by it, but probably the best way of doing it is watching a silent playthrough, if the person is really good at it. Because commentary kind of hurts it a little, but um, a silent just watching it kind of like a documentary isn't Yeah, bad. Like, I can say that. Like, I watched... Like, John's playthrough, it was good because he didn't talk during the dialogue. Mm. Which he usually doesn't do anyway, so it was like silent for most of the time anyway. Yeah. But it was still nice to have that reaction. Yeah. Um, I watched um, Liam and Woolies, mm -hmm. and they talked a little too much, but then again, that's their job. Yeah. Like, that's their style. More, their style is more like that. Um, but also, you get the perspective of them as game testers. Ooh. And you get a lot of insight into how, like, thinking about some of those games works. Yeah. And designing them works. Which was really cool. Um, just... but... I... What is it? What does it all mean? It's the question of, is Kodas, is that a real person? Yeah. Um, Could we ever get a full, um... Whisper Machine game? Because I want that game. I would play that FPS. It looks yeah. really cool. Um, I mean, I think it's better that they don't, if they don't reveal it, because that mystery, yep. that mystery, like, drives that narrative so well. Yep. And I really, I also really like the theory of it, that Coda and the uh, person whose name I forget who was D the, something. Ah, uh, what's his face? The creator of... The writer, the writer The writer of, of Stanley Um... Are the same person. I think yes. that's a very interesting yes. interpretation. I, I like that as well. Um, and that's probably one of my favorite ones. I mean, I appreciate the other ones too, but. It's something that could be talked about for a very, very, very. This is long something time. you can have, like, literal university courses on. Yeah. It, it really would. And it opens the. 
the door for possible more of these kinds of games. Yes. Which already into the sort of exist of, mm. in indie games. Yes. But but not highlight to the point of exploring not, the psyche of a particular person. Yes. Or persons. Not in that way. Not it never has it been as effective mm -hmm. as it has been in this game. Like I've I've played or witness games with that have tried that, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of like falls flat. Like like they really created a believable character. Yes. Um, like, a real person. And that's often the flaw, like, I think sometimes devs get too, like, over the top, and, and those sorts of characters come, it, this happens in books, too. Yep. Um, and movies and television, like, the characters come off as, like, not real. Like, they don't seem like real people. And so that sort of means it's, like, Uh, yeah, I don't know, there's not much more to say about that besides, like, the awful, horrible spoilers. Mm -hmm. Um, next you have Undertale, which I have watched a part of the playthrough, like... I watched the first thing, but in my defense, I'm... I'm not that big into those style games, yeah. and I'm not that big into Earthbound. That. I have a friend who loves Earthbound, and has um, started his game channel around it. Who's um, this? I'm curious who this person is. Oh, it's my, uh, my friend, um, Mr. Rory J. Oh, I don't know who um, this is. Um, he's a friend of my brother. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm curious about this channel. Yeah. No, he, he only has one video out and it's talking about, what is it? It's the relation of emotion in Earthbound. It's a really well done video. He so he put a lot of he's more of a like research and like yes. theory yes. channel. Yeah. That's cool. I like those channels yeah. too. He's he and he put a lot of work into that video. That's cool. Yeah. Um anyway, uh, I think it's a really interesting game. It's, mm -hmm. it gets quite funny after the first thing. I've heard there's some good um, jokes in it. Well, like um ladies and gentlemen, it's what is it? Sounds of Pirates, <laughs> which are intentionally named after quotes. Like quotes. Uh, oh my god. Uh, 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 the word. <laughs> um, fonts. Because oh. they're, they're actual text. So Sans is, is common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then Papyrus. <laughs> and Papyrus is Papyrus, the font. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And they're brothers. Not skeletons. Yeah. yeah. And then I've heard that the like, um, the game gets really good to the end depending on what run you you're play. running it. Are you yes. playing pacifist, neutral, or um, I think the other one's like annihilation. Or oh something. yeah, yeah. And apparently annihilation is a nightmare. Um, supposedly, well, um, parts of 2BF have run nightmare or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. Um, and the final boss can take four hours. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I need. I I intend to finish watching a playthrough of that. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah, like that's the proper time. That was really impressive. I'm impressed by you. Cause I can't. Uh, I'm like button that. Well, most of my stuff is mash, and then with some moves. Because, um, like, I learned some basic fundamentals, and then, like, just, like, for example, that's my biggest fault in Marvel, is I stick to just that and a couple moves for all my characters, when I really should learn some more, um, like, design things. Because, and, like, I have access to it through watching Maximilian stuff, yeah. because he has an entire tutorial series on um, Marvel 3. Oh, cool. Mm. Anyway, we're moving uh -oh. on to Battlefront, which I know almost nothing about. So, I'll take Battlefront. Um, looks amazing. Holy That's shit! What I'm this uh, it looks beautiful. Um, it looks exactly what what it should. Um, sound design, as we thought, would be good because they're pulling directly from the Lucasfilm files. Like, all the sounds sound alike. So TIE Fighters sound like TIE Fighters, Blasters sound like Blasters, Lightsabers sound like Lightsabers, whatever. 
It's not original Battlefront, which is kind of annoying, but, like, we knew we would never get that back because it's such a weird old style. Um, it's, it's really just Battlefield with a Star Wars skin over top of it, which I'm not that mad about because as long as it's good, um, Um, it's gonna be okay. Pr the main problem arises... Balancing issues. Like, they gotta balance this shit. Because currently with what they showed off, which is the... Um, Walker Assault on Hoth. Like, even though that it's canon, the, the Empire wins. The Rebels don't have a chance. Like, even, even when they should be able to, um, they can't win. Like, they don't have enough power. Um, you can spawn camp with the AT-ATs like crazy, and it's unfair as shit. Rapuka! Rapuka! See, I'm back. Here I'm actually. He's doing air mashes. I'm back! Damn, on the super. Yeah. No, the best one is you do big bands. Um... Uh, tag where he just comes in with hard brass knucks and yeah. does the one punch because if you time it properly it should kill uh, I don't know if that probably didn't unlock anything um, but it's it's never going to be as good as I still think Battlefront 2 is one of the best games of all time and it won't beat that but yeah. it will be hopefully potentially one of the best Battlefield games, because it's gonna be battle, better than Battlefield 3. You, they could trip over their fucking dicks and it'd be better than Battlefield 4, because that game is a nightmare. Don't even, I've never even heard of it. So you that you don't, we don't talk about yeah, it because... Yeah, exactly. that shows how good it is. <laughs> like, it hinges on, like, two, like, about three key things. You gotta add more content, and especially for free. No, like, then again, I am ta talking to EA, so good luck. Yeah, I know. I um, know. gotta balance that game. Balance it up. Because if you balance it, it's gonna be fun. Um, and it's gotta be across the board. It's gotta be team balanced, um, weapon balance, map balance, vehicle balance. Number three, if your servers crash for the first two weeks, Nobody's gonna play this no, game. No one's gonna play because it. Because happened with Battlefield 4, people paid hundreds of dollars to get into that game early with exclusive stuff. Couldn't play it because it would crash after 10 minutes of trying wow. to get into a fucking game. That's dumb. Yeah. Yep, so that's one way to screw yourself up. Don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck it up. Because with that movie coming out, the gold mine you have for new Star Wars possibilities yeah. is endless. It's a new makes shit for it. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. Anyway. And then the last one is Transform Dev, which I don't know what that mm, is. Auger! Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Auger! <So Ogre>. <laughs> I got one word for you! Platinum Games, motherfucker! That's who made this game! Okay. Hey, do you like Bayo Revengeance 101, but you also like Transformers? Let's just mix oh them together. God. So, oh. imagine a third-person action game that moves at about the speed of somewhere in between Korra and Revengeance with Transformers, not Michael Bay, but the original G1 80s cartoons with the oh. original art, with the not original voice like... actors, with mostly Whoa. the original um, music... Slightly Revengeance remix to it. Um, add in loot. Add in combos that end in transforming attra attacks. I.e. you turn into a car into a body slam. This is the game I have been waiting for as a Transformers <laughs> fan my entire fucking... I got my Optimus shirt on right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not getting this till like I will wait till my birthday to play this because it's it's still sixty bucks. Oh god, yeah. It's but expensive. it's gonna be worth it. Because um it's I don't know how long it is. 
Um, you play across, I think it's five characters. Um, they can make another one of these or just make DLC for this, which is just play the other side, play the Decepticons. No. Because, and the boss fights are awesome. Literally 10 minutes in the game, you are fighting Devastator, the combination of five Transformers into one, oh, yes. who is taller than a skyscraper. And you are. And it escalates from like, there, I'm sure. So, it only this. Keeps going up. And the <laughs> check mark for go to space is there! Because it has to be! That's Platinum's rule! Yeah. Is there a Platinum game? Yes. Does it, Do they go to space? Yes. <laughs> I, it's it's not 101 scale, but I don't think any, okay. anything. I don't think anything is going to be. I don't know if you can top 101. <laughs> like, I don't even know what you do for 102. Oh my god. Like, of course, I want one thou wonderful 1001. Although you would have to zoom the camera out so far. I wouldn't be able to see anybody. No, no but um, I've watched two, uh, two nearly full hour videos on it. It deserves at least a 9 to a 9.5 out of 10. Nice. Like, it Good. is. It's as I can appreciate that you as a Transformers fan, this is a really big deal yeah. because I don't even know of any Transformers mm. video games, which seems um, kind of dismal. There are actually several. Okay. Um, but I just don't know the like, one. there are definitely the older ones. Like the earliest one was on Commodore sixty four. Mm. Um, then there was the Famicom, the legendary Famicom. Uh, Japanese game, which is... I don't know if you've seen that AVGN episode. I, prob I probably have. You those. probably have. That oh, game is unbelievably hard. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, it's one of they those made ones. the games for the Michael Bay films, which are okay. The first one was... Act kind of felt like a GTA clone a little bit. Uh -huh. And for a Transformers game, that's not a bad place to be in. Because... Simulator. So I was having fun with that. Um, the company High Moon made all the um, War for Cybertron games, which is classic-ish um, 80s style, but more of the comics infusion, where it's fights on um, uh, Cybertron and in space and then sometimes in Earth. But um, this is the best one so far and probably will be yeah. the best one. Like, because I haven't heard of most of those. Yep. Like, they yep. just kind of fall off the map. The key with Transformers is we know it's stupid. The fans know, except for those couple parts, this, this was not a thing that was designed to be a literal piece of art. It was designed to sell toys. It's entertainment. Yeah, but... Which has the key a valid is, place in art. Yes! It's entertaining! You get to see all your li like, you get to play as Optimus, you get to play as Bumblebee, you get to play as Sideswipe, you get to play as Wheeljack, and you get to play as number one, Grimlock. The thing that makes no fucking sense and nobody who doesn't know Transformers can take it seriously when you say, he's a robot Tyrannosaurus Rex. Go! <laughs> You don't need anything else! Just go! <laughs> so, anyway. no. I am ecstatic, and I am really wanting to play that game. Yeah. So, that'll be really coming... The, yeah, that comes out in November, and that is... And because there's a loot system and weapon equipment, I can grind that game over and over again until I get S-rank gear. For it. Right. Oh. oh, Fresca. Anyway. Oh, not the stream starts, I should mention Fresca. <laughs> <laughs>